Hello everyone, it's Jim Sterling here, and I've upset a developer, I think. Um, the developer of Slaughtering Grounds uploaded this video, uh, called Reviewing the Reviewer, where, as you can see, they re-uploaded yesterday's squirty play of, of Slaughtering Grounds, and then added text annotations, um, slagging me off and calling me an idiot. Um, he was see, saying, um, they're saying, let me flap my stupid mouth for a bit because I need to read this for you and myself since I didn't actually try the game before I started recording the review. Uh, these models are not as detailed as the first. It's not like, uh, it's not that maybe I like the first, but rather I know I need to be negative, so I'll point out the other two. Um, they go through the entire uh, 10 minute video uh, defending the game. Um, here we are. They're, uh, I think they thought I was trying to point out how shit the gun models were, but they were too good, so I didn't. Um, let's get into the game, never mind talking about the progression system through character and gun upgrades. Hell, while we're at... Oh, it's going very quickly. It actually says comical use of excessive physics and blood. Um, but let's exaggerate for a punchline and really smack down with a snazzy over-the-top comment to show I'm negative immediately. Uh, now remember, this is Jim fucking Sterling. I've reviewed tons of games. Don't mind that I haven't playtested this title at all. So instead of showing you the good and bad, I'm going to show you right now that I'm truly a... Uh, oh, well, they said I was a total fucking moron there. Uh, I'm not going to look at the HUD or at all or explain about it, why bother? There is no information there I need. Um, so there, it goes on and on like this. They, so they do the whole thing. There we are. Um, <laughs> um, what's funny to me is they think this is a review when these are, um, and have been for, oh, about a year and a half now. Um, that's not fair. A, a year and a month, I think. Um, play test, like first impression videos where I do jump right in and, um, that, that comment's been up for a long... Oh, there we go. That was up for a very long time for a short amount of text. Uh, they are calling me a fucking idiot again. Um, this... <laughs> Run around like a fucking moron and complain about not having any ammo. Um... <laughs> It's my fault for thinking that when you pause the game, the game will pause. I didn't realise that the slaughtering dev, uh, the slaughtering ground devs, were going for a Dark Souls thing. Here, I should have spotted from the the art direction and the uh, gameplay layout that uh, <laughs> that, uh, that they were going for Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here, here I am being blamed. Um, I'm not your everyday moron. I'm Jim fucking Sterling. That's my name now. That's my new name. Um, uh, oh, is that an actual bug? Okay. Um, again, I'm supposed to know these things in a first impressions video. Um, what was I saying before then? Oh yes, yes, they're, they're angry at me for pointing out that when you die, you still retain your ammo count. Now, some people would put that down to lazy slapdash design, or maybe the developers don't know um, how to reset your ammo counter, but that's just me. Um, okay, here we are. Oh right, here I'm being accused of being mildly entertained. <laughs> no, 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 no. Now I'm entertained. This, at this point... This is where Slaughtering Grounds has proven itself thoroughly entertaining. Um, the rather angry developers, now they're worth their weight in laughs. Uh, I'm Jim fucking Sterling and I deliver accurate reviews. It's not a review! I told you I would tell you the bug of the landmines work and you can depend on me providing you with more useless shit reviews and <laughs> I haven't even drunk my coffee yet. I was going to sit down and just let this play and, and drink drink coffee, have a nice morning, but this is too good. And what I'm going to do now is run around aimlessly since I haven't made any attempt to actually figure out the game thus far. I will be sure to blame the developer and Steam for my failure in taking the time to evaluate the game before I review it. What? Why do you say? Because I'm Jim fucking Sterling's son. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to have a bit of my morning coffee now. Let's... <laughs> So angry. Not even time for punctuation. No, no apostrophe in I'm at the bottom. It's just im. 
Try again, what the fuck? I mean, even a complete idiot would have noticed if there was a large black quest box in the upper left-hand corner. Oh, you mean they aren't covered in your fucking shitty blood effects? I spent hours of detailed work on this review, so I would know. I spent ten minutes on this first impressions video. And now I'm spending another ten minutes on this amazing meltdown. Oh, look, more cash money. Let's not talk about what cash is used for. I'm Jim fucking Sterling's son. I don't have time to look at <laughs> <laughs> okay, here, mate, look, look, I'll cut you a deal. I'll learn your game mechanics if you learn game design, okay? Little tip for tap, mate. Uh, this try again stuff is really annoying. I mean, why don't they put a quest window with timers in the top left corner so I know what to do? Oh shit, there is a quest window that's been there the entire fucking time. They're not quests! Don't call them quests. It's alright, it's the developer. Oh. Um, Jim fucking, how can I Jim fucking Sterling play this game without ammo? That was a fair point. Oh sure, hide tons of fucking ammo in my run path through buildings. How am I supposed to find ammo in such mysterious fucking places? Well, typically a game like this would, would give you um, clear ammo, uh, audio-visual feedback uh, that isn't, you know, a tiny little click noise. Um, that you can't hear over the looped fucking music, the, the 30 seconds of... of Vaguely Asian sounding music that you've. Okay. I'm guessing you stole from somewhere. I'm not going to look at radar or the large blood splatters forming or the zombie attack sounds that indicate I'm. Do there was Even the comments were pointing out that the audio feedback of damage was fucking ridiculous and pointless and shit. I'm going to continue picking up ammo crates with my revolver out since it's the worst gun in the game. But I know all this because I'm just fucking. St Don't put a shit gun in your game. How am I to be blamed for the shit gun you put in your game? Unbelievable. Let's continue recording the music in-game, even though it can be toggled in the menu system. <laughs> it's my fault! <laughs> it's all my fault! This is mine! It, I put the music in there, so it's my fault. I'm supposed to... This will allow us to miss the cargo plane drop you can hear happening. That's not my fault! Do you know what personal responsibility is? <laughs> they call me Jim fucking Sterling again, though. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, God. Now, this is obviously a, a, a kind of Inception-style thing now. You know, we're seven minutes deep into this of, of me commenting on someone commenting on my video that they made. Um, they're going to have to now take this video and overlay more text over it, um, which will make it hard to read, because there's already text. But, you know, the more text that gets overlaid, the less we have to look at the game's shitty graphics. So, uh, this is absolute dog shit. Uh, when I play an indie shooter described as a comical bloodbath, I expect some amazing fucking artistic themes. <laughs> what? No, no, mate, I expect artistic cohesion. That's what I was criticising here. Um, you can't just throw in random... even. You know, a lot of funny games still look artistically consistent. Do you know what that is? Do you not... Do you understand, like, even the basic tenets of art? <laughs> no, apparently not. Um, considering they, they they lack the self... Oh, God, that text is going all over the place. And have to excuse me, I'm beginning to tire from the exertion of being this stupid. <laughs> I'm going to continue picking up ammo with my revolver. So I only show you one of six weapons. One of three characters and one of three single-player maps. The amount of... Well, why would... The revolver has bullets. The shotgun doesn't. Do you not understand how your game design fucks that up? You don't run around holding a gun out that doesn't have bullets. Your design led me down that... But... <laughs> you, you don't know how to make games. You could have been patching your game to be less shit in the time you spent laying text over my video, you bitter little man. Oh, God. Jim fucking Sterling. That's me. Hilarious. <laughs> mm. Inconceivable. No shotgun ammo. It must be the developer's fault for me not taking the time to even remotely figure the game out before I make this worthless pile of shit review to get some more subscribers. Well... As well as a, a, a bitter uh, meltdown, this video of yours 
it also serves as a nice tutorial. You should put it in the game. Put this video in the game as the tutorial. Okay? You do that. <laughs> Jim fucking Sterling and I'm a Steam curator, top third most popular Steam curator, reviewer, highly popular reviewer, and uh, what was the last bit? Fucking idiot, I think it was. Um, yeah. <laughs> Jim fucking Sterling, fucking idiot. <sighs>